Hello everybody and welcome to episode 10 of the Modded Kerbal Space Programme. Um, so today we're going to join. I've just taken off for a quick dual mission with the space plane. We're going to turn some of this just to get through it quickly. Um, one of the contracts I saw that came out was the next anomalies contract. Um, <coughs> this one is to explore the pyramids in the desert and there's also a contract nearby to where that is. So do both. Was actually going to try and attempt the third one as well at the bottom there at the waypoint manager, but the takeoff at the pyramids doesn't go so well. So we'll see that when we get to it. As you can see right now, I'm just pinning all the science stuff. I do have the bathymetry thing underneath, as you can see, because that third mission was to splash land at the Arctic and take some science from there. Doesn't really work out there. So the question at the moment is, am I going to be able to get over these mountains? They're pretty tall. It's a new biome there, so we can get a bunch of science. Get that transmitted off. So hopefully I will be running this particular space plane for too much longer. Getting to the point where we're going to unlock some more stuff shortly. <coughs> As you can see there's still three rescue missions to be carried out. And this is my penultimate episode which I've pre-recorded and doing voiceovers afterwards. So one more to go and then we'll be going back to live commentary as we play the game, which I'm looking forward to. <laughs> post commentary is great because you can speed up all the grindy stuff and I'll still be able to do that in post editing anyway, but So here we go, just over the desert now, the first part of the desert, and we're just coming up to the first target. So you can see this plane could actually fly more than halfway around the planet on the fjord that it's got, which is kind of useful.
trigger. You can tell you're getting close when the target splits up into the three separate parts of the contract. I'm just going to aim for that plateau to the right of it. It's the only fly area near it. Just have to uh, drive our way back. Slowed it down for the landing. quite a distance to scoot across the desert to get to it so we'll speed this up as well shortly take the data So that's the first one. Second one's already got where he crash landed before, so I only have to go back to the other one. Just over there. Let's make sure I don't go too fast down here. I 
There we go. So that is that contract complete. Fortunately, this isn't too bad a surface to take off from. And there's just a little upslope coming up there. It's enough to get us up off the ground. Though we were struggling for airspeed, we do eventually get up. So now over to the pyramids. And it's only a hundred kilometers away from where we were anyway. mountains up here yeah here we go it's a bit of a difficult landing this one it's tucked away on a little tiny flat in the middle of a mountain range There you go, you can see it, and it's a pretty small area to aim for, so I've killed the engines already. Still coming in way too fast. And I end up having to use the upslope of the mountain to stop me. Fortunately with these medium landing gears it makes landing a lot more forgiving. So there you are, we found the pyramids, we're just going to do a, a bit of science whilst we're here. And there we go, that's that pyramid mission complete. Now I was going to go take off here and um, go down to the Arctic, but fortunately I lose control just before this edge here and the takeoff goes all pear shaped. So it means Jebediah's MIA for three days, but it's not an issue. Didn't have that much experience anyway. As you can see I'm thinking about reverting it, but we just go back to the space center and carry on. Mm -hmm. 
So look, if we're our contracts and it seems like the only thing we've got... I mean, there's rescue missions and explore this and test that. And... But realistically, it's time to send our first probe to Minmus. So now to build a ship that will get us there and back. I don't know why I start with command box, I kind of want it to be unmanned anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so batteries, fuel tank. Science. So it comes small, medium, and a dish. Engineer and mech jab. Now we can look at science. So we've got some extra ones now as well. And I'm thinking about re entry, and that hexacore just isn't going to work. So I'm going to take four science bays because that fits perfectly with the 1.25 meter. Just rotate and then we have two science bays which is enough for this particular mission so this is the section that's going to detach and re-enter so we need heat shield there Decide on a bigger fuel tank for the last stage, and of course, we're going to need a coupler. And that is the main probe section. So now we need our lift section. And our first attempt, I try a try because we haven't got any of the big tanks or big engines yet. So I'm thinking three Reliant engines might do it. Solar panels, we've got our boosters on. Three boosters is being a bit skinny with it though, really. And I kind of know that, but I've always got the option to revert the flight. Another thing I'm not really thinking about at the moment is aerodynamics, and I'm trying to see if I can get away with it. But there's the scan sat, and there's our new w RWPS antenna. Just bringing it up, and then we need to have three of them. And I try and give that a go. Now I know we haven't got a reaction wheel or any fins or anything, and it's probably not going to work out so well. But it's just the test to see how much thrust we get more than anything else. And that's all our completed missions. So. So 
So what we'll do is we'll go to Minmus, we'll gather a load of data, fulfill that contract which is survey the magnetic field of Minmus, and then try and get, get it back to Kerbin, but obviously that doesn't work because there's no stability in it whatsoever, so have to change everything up. So we start with a reaction wheel. Some fins. Test two. So this time it does look like we're going to get into the atmosphere quite easily. It's a bit more stable than what it was before, but it's still a little bit hard to handle. There go the boosters. Trying to gravity turn bit by bit. So circularization node. And it's kind of after during this burn that I decide that we don't really have enough Delta V, so it's back to redesigning and um, just adding generally some more fuel and some more engines. So we go for the quad coupler. So now we've got four Reliant engines on there, and then instead of three, we're going up to eight solid rocket boosters. Fins back. And that's worth a go. So we definitely got enough rust this time, we're picking up speed a lot quicker. That actually feels a lot more stable, not being quite so top heavy. We're able to do the gravity turn quite easier. Obviously, being four engines, I can cut the engines a lot sooner, get the circularization node in whilst having a lot more fuel in the engine. So how would the solar panels? After getting rid of the fairing. Now we're just waiting for our burn. Of course we've got the new science now so we can deploy the RPWS and do that. This time we've carried a lot more Delta V into orbit. This circularization burn is probably the most expensive part of the entire journey. That's complete, and we've still got a little bit of fuel in the tanks. So with Mimus, the. So I'm going to have 
yeah, this is for fine tuning stuff. Just we're just reducing the thrust limiters. Um, with Mimus, Mimus isn't on an equatorial orbit of Kirpin like the Moon is. Um, it's got a good angle of um, inclination. So the first thing we need to do really is match planes with the target. And like this, you just select it as a target and go to the ascending node and just set that to zero or the descending node, one or the other. And that'll match the plane with the target, making a transfer to Minmus a lot easier. You won't have to change plane whilst trying to set the maneuver at the same time. So this, it's quite expensive to change planes comparatively. I mean, we're only doing a few degrees of plane change, and it's still 250 odd delta V. But we're just about there now. So now we can set up our transfer to Minmus. We're just going to run out of fuel before we have a chance to complete the burn, so we'll get the stage separation. There we go. I'm going to try and do a manoeuvre here, but it doesn't work out so well, and um, we do eventually end up resetting the mission because this has taken a lot more of a burn than what we should be needed really. We're just not going to have enough Delta V left for it. And there we go. I realized that I'd gone too far and wasn't connected, so I had to revert the launch because I forgot to activate the dish. 
So yeah, that's where we had to leave it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching and we'll have first flight to Nimbus part 2 next time. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye.